this is smoking. Scoop this right on top. This is definitely wrong. <laughs> this is definitely wrong. Welcome back to Chef Out of Water. I'm Alexis, a chef who's always up for a challenge. I've taken to the internet, you, to see what appliance I should make a three course meal with. Okay, let's see what we have this time. <laughs> Waffle iron, okay. You know, I've never made anything that isn't a waffle in a waffle iron, but I think there's possibilities here. I think I'm gonna have to get creative. I feel pretty good about this. I'd say my confidence level right now is a nine out of 10. Question, do I get more than one waffle iron? Yes, you get two. Two waffle irons. Guys, this is gonna be great. Okay, a waffle iron. I know that like, you can use a waffle iron to make so many things, like a frittata, hash browns, you know, you can use it to kind of, you know, make things into a waffle shape. I'm curious though, if there's anything you can use this for that doesn't look like a waffle. Looks like someone tried to make mozzarella sticks. That feels really ambitious. Acorn squash. Lots of eggy things. I think I may be still scarred from the microwave episode. If I have two of these, no problem. Confidence level, a nine. Feel good about this. Famous last words every time, but I really feel excited. Ooh, this is hot. After doing some research, I've come up with a plan. I'm gonna start with dessert, working backwards as I usually do, and I'm gonna make a chocolate cake waffle. I'm also gonna make some chocolate whipped cream, some roasted cherries, and kind of layer it all together. So hopefully, you know, looking at it, you wouldn't think, waffle iron. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to add all my dry ingredients together. Oof, I have not been working out in quarantine, or ever. You know, doing the old spoon trick to get an accurate measurement. Some cocoa powder, a pinch of salt. Salt brings out the sweetness. And some baking powder. It's gonna give it that kind of like puffy, cakey quality. And I'm just gonna whisk this all together. So far, things are going very well. I mean, confidence level so far, I mean, this is a 10, right? Got my dry ingredients, I'm gonna move on to the wet ingredients. So sugar is actually a wet ingredient, fun fact. And some milk, quite a lot of milk. I haven't made waffles in two years, see how this goes. Some vegetable oil, keep it moist. A little bit of vanilla extract, just you know, more flavor. Does anyone actually measure vanilla extract? Don't think I ever have. Two eggs. Wow, big shell, rookie move. This is like a comically inappropriate size. Okay, there we go. Now wet ingredients go into the dry ingredients. You know, usually I have my helper Ryan, but times have changed, so it's just me today. This looks very wet, oh gosh. Will this go in a waffle iron? It feels like too wet to do that. I think I'm gonna add a little more flour, but maybe that is the texture of waffles. Or Cake, I don't know, I'm making a cake. To go in a waffle maker, ugh. Just wanna get this batter really smooth. Whew. Really just been sitting on the couch, so this feels like a real workout. Okay, it looks totally fun. I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna start whipping some cream, getting these heated up, so at least like a few things can happen at once. One of them can go maximum heat, and one can go medium heat. We've been here before, but this requires some whipped cream. And as always, I don't have a hand mixer. Ah. It's gonna take a while. Actually, using this small bowl and a big whisk is going much faster. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna add some sugar. I'm not tasting as I go. And I know I've made this mistake before, but I know this is sugar. I can see it. Add a little sugar. I mean, this whipped cream looks really pretty. Oh no, oh no. It's salt! Just a little bit. I wanted to add some chocolate to my whipped cream. And I had an idea that if I put some bars of chocolate in aluminum foil and put it in the waffle iron, that it'll melt. Okay, this is super hot, so. I assume you can put foil in a waffle iron. Just gonna go with it. Over here, also very hot. I'm gonna give this a spray. And I've got a half cup here. I think that looks good. Just smooth it out. If this is a bust, I have a lot more batter, so we're, we're okay. So this is not like a traditional Black Forest trifle cake, whatever you wanna call it, but inspired by, you know? Oh, 
there's some chocolate coming out the top. Okay. Yes. It totally works. Wow. 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 Okay. Gotta work quickly. It's not a ton of chocolate, but let's see how this goes. This is the best idea I've ever had. Amazing. Wow. Oh, shh. Sorry, this is smoking. Is smoking typical? Oh. <gasps> I'm gonna put Waffle Master on my uh, resume. This is amazing. Up next. So typically for a black forest cake, you would soak the cherries in like a dark cherry syrup with some cherry liqueur. I'm not gonna do that. I just thought I could put some of the cherries like in the waffle iron to kind of like roast them or get them softened and maybe get a little more depth of flavor. I'm just gonna put a few down. Actually, I'm gonna put them all down. I don't know. It's on really high heat, so I think these are gonna go pretty quickly. And meanwhile, I kind of think this is done. Ooh, okay. The waffle just ripped a little bit when I was trying to pick it up and it is not cooked yet, so. I think I just need to be patient for a few minutes. But I'm gonna put the waffle in here, I'm gonna tear it up, and then I think I can start layering my trifle. Oh, uh-oh. Um, the cherries are letting a ton of juice out, but they look great. You know, they're kind of like saucy, a little broken down. Okay. Ooh, the waffle still looks good. Hmm. Ooh. It feels cooked through. It still has some good springiness. It smells incredible. I think I'll do a layer in the bottom. No time disguising the waffle. <laughs> Realize I'm putting like a hot waffle in. Just maybe not the best idea. And a layer of this like chocolate whipped cream. And some cherries. Ooh, those are some syrupy cherries. This looks so good. <laughs> it is totally unrecognizable, maybe not in a good way, but that's okay. Ooh! Having a moment to myself. Wow. Honestly, a shame that no one else could have this. This is so good. And then some more cherries. Okay, it looks kind of crazy. Oh, it's dripping down the side. Oh god, what have I done? Should I dump the syrup on it? The answer is no. Okay, I think the hardest part about this is that it kind of looks like a disaster. Oh my god. It's kind of like a sticky mess right now, but it also looks pretty good. I'm gonna move on to the next course. My trifle's in the fridge, so I'm gonna move on to my appetizer course. I'm gonna make an okonomiyaki, which is like a Japanese savory pancake. It's got cabbage and egg. You can also add other vegetables, but I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I've never made okonomiyaki before, but I really, really, really love it. It's going to be in the shape of a waffle, but it gets covered with sauce and bonita flakes and more scallions, so I think it'll look kind of like this pile of stuff rather than a waffle. Okay, to get started, going back to my flour, good pinch of salt and my eggs. And I'm just gonna add it right to the flour. And stir it all together. This kind of looks like the beginning of uh, crepes. So I'm just gonna use green cabbage and scallions for my okonomiyaki filling. And I just wanna cut it really thinly so that it's kind of like more of an even pancake and you're not like... I'm gonna try mixing in this cabbage before I add the scallions just because this is gonna take a lot more work and if this doesn't work out, you know, it's easier to start over. This feels, this is, this is definitely wrong. This is definitely wrong. Maybe I'll put this in and see if this works and save the scallions. Okay, I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna clean up and then uh, sort the situation out. The waffle iron's heating up. I don't know why I chose to make something that I've never made before, so therefore I cannot verify if it's correct or not. I'm just gonna, just gonna scoop this right on top. Like, I guess flatten it out a little. This is like, okonomiyaki is so good and I feel like so far I'm not really selling it. It gets okonomiyaki sauce on top. So I've got some oyster sauce, ketchup, and Worcestershire shire. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire shire. Oh God. Stir it all together. I mean, it has the right look. Let's hope this works. Check in time. Okay, I think I know that this is wrong. This is not happening, so I'm gonna start over. Okay, so I think my previous okonomiyaki was too thick. I think there's too much flour, not enough eggs. So I'm upping the eggs, shaking down the flour. A lot of salt, going from one cup to a half cup. This already feels better, just lighter, you know? Okay, cabbage. And I feel confident, so I think I will add some scallions. That feels good for now. Spray this down so it's ready to go. 
And again, using my hands. Oh, this feels so much better. So I think it's supposed to be like, just more like lightly held together with the egg rather than whatever I did last time. Don't do that at home. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm gonna clean up and hopefully by the time I get back, this will be ready. Okay, this one smells right. Looking way more right. Okay, I'm gonna cut the rest of the scallions. Hopefully this will be done soon. My confidence took a little hit there. I'm like simmering at a seven right now. Okay, there's some raw eggs still on the side, but it's almost there. So I've got some nori that I'm just gonna use some scissors to slice up. I've got my okonomiyaki sauce, kewpie mayonnaise, and bonito flakes. So all of that's gonna go right on top. Just like cut it into thin little strips. It still feels thick, but I wonder if that's just kind of like inevitable with the waffle iron shape. It's getting pressed up, you know, to create that like classic shape. So I'm gonna go with it, it's fine. If it's terrible, I'm the one eating it. Okay, just look better on the set. Yes, oh my God, okay, gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna go, so you kind of go like back and forth. Oh God, I'm so sorry to everyone who actually knows how to make this. And the kewpie mayonnaise. And then bonita flakes, dried cured fish. And you just kind of put these on in a pile on top. They're pretty pungent, so if you're not into fish, you might not like them. Some of these like little sliced nori, and then I'm just gonna add some scallions. I feel pretty proud of myself because this does not look like a waffle. Okonomiyaki, done. I'm gonna move on to my last course. So for my last course, I'm going to make black garlic butter rubbed cod with some grilled scallions. I mean, I really think no one's gonna know that this was made in a waffle iron. You know, well, you all know, but uh, it could fool someone. So black garlic is just fermented garlic and the cloves, they're really easy to peel, unlike, you know, regular garlic. They just get kind of like soft. They just kind of melt away. So I'm just gonna get a few cloves, gonna mash them into a paste and add them to butter. Easy enough. Look how soft they are. They just kind of press right under the pressure. You can put this on roast chicken, vegetables. I mean, honestly, pretty much anything. You could add it to a vinaigrette. It looks like incredible flavor there. Oh, the butter is not room temperature. Okay, I think this is nothing that a waffle iron can't melt. So it's probably gonna get pretty hot, but I'm just gonna let it go for a sec and grab some scallions. I'm just gonna trim the tops of the scallions. I wanna leave them whole so they can kind of be like draped around the fish and just gonna douse them in some olive oil. And I think for these, I'm gonna do it on high. I like to broil whole scallions so they get like really just like crispy and I mean almost burnt. So I kind of think the same thing could happen in the waffle iron. These are a little big for the waffle iron, but I think I can just move them down when they start to get charred. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Okay, back to the butter. Ooh. You can hear them start to sizzle. I feel very grateful for two waffle irons right now. Oh yeah. I realize this doesn't look very appetizing, but the flavor is gonna be so good. I'm gonna add a little pepper, salt. Amazing color starting. That's a good start. I feel pretty good right now. I mean, we'll see how the fish cooks, but everything is working out. I feel like the, the result of that okonomiyaki really like boosted my confidence. There's still some butter chunks here, but actually I'm just gonna let it sit. Moving on to the fish. So I've got some beautiful black cod here. This is way too big for a waffle iron. So I'm just gonna cut this. And I'm gonna rub the black garlic butter directly on it. Again, I know this doesn't look super appealing, but the flavor is what we're after. I thought black cod would be a good fish to use because it's thinner, it's pretty delicate. You don't want it to cook through, so it's not gonna have to be in there for too long. I mean, it's, I've never put black cod in a waffle iron, so I really don't know, but that's what I assume. I'm just gonna add some olive oil and just wrap it up. This is, this is weird. Okay, here we go. These scallions are really sizzling now. Oh wow, I'm gonna just now move them down. If I was making this on the stove, mm, maybe five to seven minutes, not too long. Um, you know, you want it to just like flake away with your fork. Black cod is so delicate and such like a sweet fish that you really don't want to overcook it. Oh, I forgot, I wanted to do a charred lemon too. Okay, back with the lemon. Thought it'd be nice to char the lemons just to get, you know, a little more flavor. Okay, I think these are good to take off. And I'm gonna add some salt. Actually, I mean, this is 
Can I serve this as the meal? Just a plate of scallions. <laughs> and the lemons? I'm just gonna put them right down. I feel like that'll work. Again, the fish is going. I'm just gonna turn it around so that it cooks evenly. I don't really have a backup plan if this fish doesn't work, so it actually might end up being just scallions, but we'll see. Confidence level? 10. I haven't said that in a long time. It smells amazing. Oh, it's because it's leaking out. Can I just take a peek? <gasps> it's perfect. It's like flaking without doing anything. I mean, I don't own a waffle iron, but if I did, I might be using it to make fish. This is insane. Okay, this fish, wow, this is so delicate. Oh my God, it might even break apart. Ooh, ooh. Oh my God. I mean, it might even be overcooked. I'm shocked to say that. So I'm just gonna kind of like arrange the scallions around. And you know, for everyone wondering why I didn't trim these, they're totally edible. Whenever I make scallions, I leave the roots on. Wow. Okay, let's check these lemons. I kind of think because of the shape of the waffle iron, this is like as good as they're gonna get, but there is some color. Okay, black garlic butter cod with scallions. <laughs> Made in a waffle iron. I'm feeling pretty jazzed, I've gotta be honest. Like level 10 confidence all the way through. I am so excited about this. I feel really proud of myself. I feel like I've come a long way. I think I'm gonna dig right into the okonomiyaki. Looks cooked. Hmm. It's quite good. <laughs> it doesn't taste exactly like okonomiyaki. It's a little thicker. I think I could have put a little less batter in there, but the flavor is like amazing. I think, you know, one out of 10, I'd give this an eight. Okay, moving on to the black cod. The fish is already flaking apart. <laughs> it's shocking. This is really, really good. Putting myself in someone else's shoes, I would never guess this was made in a waffle iron. This is so cool. I feel so proud of myself. I love it. You know, I think the fish is overcooked by maybe a minute, but it's still really delicate. Melts in your mouth. 8.5. I'm so sad that I can't share this food with anyone. I have to tell you, I've been waiting for this all day. Ooh, this is a crazy big bite, but I've got some of the waffle, some of the chocolate whipped cream, the cherries. This is amazing. The waffle consistency all teared up, like becomes the perfect vessel for the cream to get soft, but actually still has enough structure. The cherries are just, you know, they cut kind of roasted. They're kind of like falling apart in your mouth. They're delicious. This might be one of my most successful meals yet. Really, I'm like, sorry, one more bite. Overall, I couldn't be happier. This is incredible. This was so fun, waffle iron. I had a good feeling about this, but honestly, I surpassed my own expectations. I think this is one of my best meals to date. Let me know in the comments which one of these dishes you'd like to try. I'll see you next time.